Researchers in Sweden have identified a molecule that helps stimulate the growth of new insulin-producing cells and uncovered how it works, opening up new potential diabetes treatments. Diabetes is characterized by a lack of insulin, the hormone that regulates blood glucose levels and allows the body's cells to access it for energy. An emerging way to treat diabetes is to repair or replace the cells in the body that naturally produce insulin. In type 1 diabetes, the beta cells in the pancreas that usually produce insulin can't make enough to meet demand, often because the immune system has destroyed those cells. Treatment currently relies on administering insulin shots, but an emerging branch of study centers on finding ways to replenish the insulin production of those beta cells. Previous breakthroughs have included creating artificial beta cells or using stem cells to grow new ones. In the new study, Researchers at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden examined a small molecule that may help regenerate insulin-producing pancreatic beta cells. The molecule, known as CID661578, was identified in previous studies, but how exactly it worked, and to what extent, remained unknown. To find out, the researchers examined its molecular interactions in yeast cells and found that it binds to a protein called MNK2. Doing so allows two other proteins to interact at higher levels, ultimately leading to greater beta cell regeneration. The team tested their molecule in zebrafish and found that it lowered blood glucose levels when compared to a control group. The study, published in the journal Nature Chemical Biology, also showed that the molecule can induce the formation of new pancreatic beta cells from pigs and stimulate the expression of insulin in human organoids. The team's findings indicate a new potential target for treating diabetes as they demonstrate a possible way of stimulating the formation of new insulin-producing cells, says Olaf Anderson, senior researcher at Karolinska Institute and the study's corresponding author. Type 1 and type 2 diabetes are characterized by raised blood sugar levels. This results either from low levels of endogenous insulin, the hormone needed for glucose uptake from the blood, or a physiological inability to use the insulin secreted, or both. Insulin injections and glucose-lowering drugs can control the disease, but not cure it. One alternative could be a treatment that regulates blood glucose by increasing the number of insulin-producing pancreatic beta cells, says Christos Karampelias, former doctoral student at Karolinska Institute and the study's first author. Hopefully, these molecules will be able to help regenerate insulin-producing cells in the body and pave the way for new potential diabetes treatments. Thank you for watching. And please, don't forget to subscribe.